Hi, for those who've been following me on Twitter, you'll know all about my uh, aircon install saga. <laughs> Let me uh, recap. Here it is, a uh, brand new unit, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, for those playing along at home. There's the info. So, because I know a lot of people will ask about that sort of stuff. So, there you go. Knock yourself out. Anyway, brand new uh, aircon installed. We've got several here, but this is for a new uh, back room that we had added. So they installed this new uh, aircon. There's the uh, drainage pipe there. It just drips down the bottom. It's the drip pipe, whatever you want to call it. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. That's the penetrator coming through. It's all celastic up. I don't know if that's any good or not. Leave it in the comments, but uh, <laughs> is there any aircon installers in my audience? I'm sure there are. Anyway, um, and nothing wrong with the actual aircon. It always worked, but the problem is, is that they actually uh, spliced the wiring of this thing into my existing PowerPoint. Um, I've got two PowerPoint circuits for the entire house and they just spliced it into there and they didn't put an external isolator. So there's no uh, like isolator switch here. So there's actually no way I could isolate this aircon uh, without turning off power to half the house via the existing circuit breaker. Now, my lord. Is that legal? I will make it legal. Apparently that is legal if it's under a certain capacity. You can do that and apparently it is under the capacity. So I don't know, you'd have to read the nameplate. And the current, these things don't draw much. So like they only draw like, I think it's one amp or something. I looked at the uh, data sheet for it and like it, it's not much. It doesn't draw much, but you know, it's the principle of the thing. Anyway, they didn't install an isolator switch and, and they just spliced in the existing wire and I'll go up in the roof and I'll show you why in a minute but let's uh, have a look at the uh, fuse box and here's a, a another couple of units we've actually got four units uh, total and uh, so these are the other ones so it's a different install these are installed a long time ago Oop, cobweb don't go on the cobweb <laughs> this is Australia and there's the other one so they're for uh, both of the kids rooms and Let's go and have a look at our fuse box. Now, obviously, they didn't look inside here. Ig ignore this one. This is the new one that they've just installed. But the first time they came out, they obviously didn't see aircon. Aircon. These are the two <laughs> isolation, uh, you know, fuses uh, for the existing aircon systems and they just went oh well nah bugger it's much easier just to wire it into the wire which is right there next to it into the existing powerpoint and we've only got uh two existing uh powerpoint circuits this does the entire house so that's it and of course they didn't see that i had a solar analytics monitoring system either um so <laughs> yeah absolutely nuts anyway so yeah there was absolutely no way to do that so i got them to come out a second time and uh yeah they finally installed the uh isolation circuit breaker here okay that's great and they did actually get it right oh they did actually get it right in terms of the current clamp this is behind here if you haven't seen it there you go it may not be the best view but anyway oh i got it there's the current clamp. There's the clamp for, that's the measurement clamp and all the air cons are up the top there. So they have actually put it through. So, cause I do have a separate monitoring circuit for the uh, air con systems as part of my solar analytics uh, monitoring system. And they, yeah, they <laughs> finally got that right. But they, but I got them out primarily to A, fix that and B, fix the dodgy wiring. <laughs> so here's a photo of the wiring the first time they installed it. And yeah, not terrific, is it? Anyway, let's go have a look at the second time they came back to fix it and install this fuse. All right, let's go up and check out the quality workmanship up here. Got the ladder and Let's have a look. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, what a bobby dazzler flapping around in the breeze there. You don't need any of that, uh, you know, screw down rubbish and electrical tape for the win. Look at that. Absolutely winner winner chicken dinner. But hang on, hang on. Not one, but two, two boxes with electrical tape. 
Oh, absolutely fantastic. Can't be beat. I mean, you know, come on, you've got to agree, that is quality workmanship right there. And of course, you know, didn't bother to take the new uh, aircon, this is the new aircon cable. No, it's, you know, no point taking it all the way, just the extra little bit right over here to the aircon down there. Nah, just tap into the existing little bit of cable that was already there. No worries. Why go to the extra effort? No point. And of course, this is the existing uh, uh, PowerPoint wiring. Uh, this is where they, the first time they came around, they spliced into this and then they had a third wire coming out. Well, this one, actually. <laughs> this one was coming out of here. And uh, that, of course, we, I got an upgrade. We didn't have the electrical tape last time, but this time got the electrical tape. Absolutely fantastic. So, um, yeah, so that was coming out. So, yeah, just join that back in and flat, leave it flapping around in the breeze. That's the way to do quality Australian standard wiring. All right, they've been back out to fix it. So let's go up and have a squiz, shall we? Let's have a look. Oh, I'm gonna lean far over here. Sorry about that. It's really quite hard to get in there. There you go. Box is now secured down. And uh, oh, that is just, I don't know, that's like an old um, alarm wiring, I think. Yes, something like that. Anyway, don't worry about that. So they're now screwed down. No uh, exposed wiring as per the code. So yeah, that'll do it. I know this uh, might vary a lot in uh, different countries. That is uh, quite common. But yeah, apparently it was actually legal to splice that aircon into the existing PowerPoint, even though that PowerPoint was like, you know, <laughs> like I've only got two circuits for the entire house. Uh, yeah, apparently it is uh, legal. Please leave it in the comments down below if that's not right. But yeah, apparently it is legal to actually wire it into the existing house wiring if it's under a certain rating, and it was. So uh, yeah, anyway, they've now uh, installed the additional uh, circuit breaker and uh, a dedicated line for this aircon, which yeah, it just buggers off, buggers off down there somewhere. There it is, pops out. So yes, the reason that they are uh, spliced into the existing circuit is because, well, here's the existing wire. It's right here. Like, they don't have to crawl through the uh, roof running cable. It's cheaper because they don't have to run cable from the, uh, right from the box, which is on the, like, the opposite corner of the house. So it's like probably a 30 meter run or something like that. So uh, yeah, they'd, let's just splice it into that. Thank you very much. No worries, it's legal. <laughs> but oops, they forgot the isolation box. Oh. And for those who want to see it, um, this is my attic space. <laughs> it's not really a space, but uh, when we put in this new back room, did actually like install um, some hard floors, so we can actually store stuff up here. But really, I mean, it's I've worked up here under here, and it's a really low, uh, shallow roof, and you have to crawl through there, and it's pretty horrible stuff. So this is why we got the attic ladder installed here. And, uh, but there is a fair amount of storage room up here, but you really, it really, you can only store stuff that's not temperature dependent. I mean, it's a warm day today, but it's probably 50 plus degrees up here. Uh, so yeah, even though we've got the, uh, the insulation, the sarking on the uh, roof to try and prevent that, we've got the whirly birds to take the heat out and stuff like that. That's the shaft of light you can probably see coming down in there through the whirly bird and, uh, to try and extract the heat. Nah, still gets bloody hot up here. Let me tell you. Anyway, yeah, that's the dodgy uh, aircon wiring install. <laughs> Unbelievable. That was their third attempt. Third attempt, and they were finally able to screw it down to the beam and <laughs> not have the wires hanging out with electrical tape. Unbelievable. Oh, getting out of there. That is way too hot. Anyway, that's it. It's the aircon. Um, yes, it does actually work. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Catch you next time.